Rugby Park. Greymouth today's live broadcast brought to you by ITM Greymouth, your building supply specialist. Welcome also to our listeners listening on the World Wide Web and listening online today. Uh, calling the game is legendary commentator Jim Finlay. And uh, let's now cross to Rugby Park with Jim. Good afternoon. Yeah, well, good afternoon, Phil, and good afternoon, listeners are up and down the West Coast. As uh, Phil just said, uh, that the call coming through News Talk ZB here in Greymouth in conjunction with ITM Greymouth. And a big listen to uh, also and thank you to uh, likes of Phil and Lemon and Tracy who uh, make this call come to you today. So those that are listening uh, online, a big welcome to you wherever you, wherever you may be. And um, also would like to mention at this stage um, the West Coast website manager, Mr Kevin here who's also um, have made a contribution for this call today to be go out on the net. So those that are listening, a big welcome to you from all up and down the coast from Rugby Park here in Greymouth where the uh, third round of the um, Heartland Championship game to get underway here today in a rather soggy Rugby Park here at Greymouth between Wairarapa Bush and the West Coast side. The ground conditions today are going to play a part. There's puddles of water on the field, just small puddles in some of the mud holes. It's going to turn to mud very, very quickly indeed in the forward battle like I hear today. But... Heavy showers of rain and hail drenched the ground over there about three quarters of an hour ago. It's quite fine here at the moment, but a northerly wind blowing, which while River Bush have won the toss and will play with it behind their backs, defending the Allen Adams stand here as the teams come onto the paddock here this afternoon. I'll get a chance to run through the teams for you. Firstly, the Wairapa Bush side. 15 is the fullback today is Glenn Waters. Wing three quarters are Cameron Hayton and Nick Olsen. In the centres, Jesse McGilvray and Titapu Parimi Lewington. I'll just be referring to him as Titapu. Got a big long name, Byron Karadiana, the 580, Naya Katia, the first, the halfback, uh, Jim Timo in the back of the scrum, Johan Van Vloot, who is the open side flanker for Wairipa Bush and the captain today alongside his uh, losing partner, Tom Fleming, Andrew McLean and Brandon Young are the lock forwards and Wilbur Davies, Jonathan Fui Mayano, big, lock, big front row here, Wairipa Bush have today, and the hooker for them is Richard Putty. The West Coast side unchanged here this afternoon, Robert Thompson, Nick Davey, Malali Tora, Luke Hughes, Sean McClure, Corey Deans and Dave Woods, they're the third backs for us today. In the front row for the West Coast side, Mosaki Fanaki, uh, Fanaki, Hamish Cochran, Troy Taufry, the front row, Brad Houston, Robert Gabriel, Kevin Curtis, Alan Monk and Rowan O'Gorman, the ever-present number eight, in the back of the West Coast scrum. As the red and white team comes onto the paddock here this afternoon, the referee today is going to be refereed by uh, Mr. Bernie, Ben O'Keefe from Wellington. And with me in the commentary box, I have Mr... Grant Olsen, I'll get a chance, we've only got one set of uh, microphones here today, but I will get Ollie to get a chance to have, a, have his say as the game progresses here this afternoon. And a big uh, hello to all those people that are on the net up there, especially our visitors from Wairapa, the good band of supporters they've brought down here with them today, Wayne Stewart and co, and g'day to Connie if she's listening up there on the net. And uh, we'll be mentioning one or two others as the day goes by. But as I said before, conditions will play a part here this afternoon, but with uh, Warrapa Bush winning the toss, and they'll be defending the Alan Adams stand end of the ground and playing with that breeze at their backs here this afternoon. And the West Coast side, I'll tell you what, Ollie, the, the wind's gone down a wee bit, but what do you think is going to play a part here this afternoon? I think ground conditions, James. God, we've had enough rain to grow a heap of rice today. I'm looking forward to this, my first game to see Coast play this, this year, so looking lean and mean. I hope the fit. Yes, thank you, Grant. Yeah, well, of course, the Coast boys come away with a resounding uh, victory here last week. And they'll be looking for more as the uh, Corey Deans kicks off. Waiting for the ball back there. Here, defensive scrum it is for the West Coast. He puts the ball in. Come back now. Scrum's coming around. Gorman takes it off. Dummies won. Beach goes into the halfback for tackle of Tamatia, of uh, Cartier. But he goes to the ground. Caught by Van Vlip, the captain over there for Warren Bush. The whistle goes, and the first penalty of the game goes to the West Coast. First penalty of the game to the West Coast side. <coughs> Excuse me, a defensive one as it is. But play a wee bit scrappy now, and the conditions aren't going to uh, favour real constructive uh, fancy football here this afternoon. So it's the uh, Corey Deans with his kick up the touchline. We're looking to this wind, to this breeze in the west, could be able to favour the team playing from the Alan Adams stand. Not a lot of wind down at ground level to speak of, but the wind is there. If you put the ball up in the air, you'll soon know it's there. So on the halfway line to go down. Seven or eight minutes gone in the first half. No score yet. Beautifully taken by Monk. The top beautiful to Tom Taufry to Monk. Holding it on the back, the West Coast team. Not much together in these forward packs here at the moment. The West Coast feeding it round. The referee will be saying, use it or lose it. The ball's held in the back in there by Robert Gabriel for the West Coast. Now he looks into Robert Woods is in there directing traffic now. Running across to the right is, um, the f goes on his own Woods. He's tackled round the bootlaces there by um, one of the Warrior Bush players. 
Prop forward it was um, Wolver Davies. Big prop forward he is through the go on the ground. Coach take it away, driving it up over the over on that side of the ground. Not making a lot of ground though at the moment, the West Coast side, but uh, the ball still on their side of the ruck. Now they pick it up through through Houston. First hands on the ball today. Makes a metre or two. Now it comes to Woods. Woods has got a flat pass out to um, the prop forward there, um, Moses Finarco. He goes on the ground. Well presented, though. Woods has got it again. They're dabbing away on the short side. O'Gorman running down the short side. O'Gorman still going. O'Gorman over the 10 metre line. Still going over there. Close to the touch on the other west coast side. And the flag goes up. The flag goes up on the, on the uh, terrace side over there. A little half back. Takes a quick one. Back it comes to Karadiana. Bandage all jersey all tied up. Coming back for it there, Nick Olsen, I should say, the arm on the band is down. A quick thinking here by the uh, little little halfback. He got the ball back to Nick Olsen, and he's thumped it away downtown, making use of that wind in the ball. Now, West, the Warrior for Bush spring hard on attack here. They're about 10 metres out from the um, West Coast try line. I mean, the Warrior for Bush try line. So hard on attack here. The line is going to take place. With eight minutes gone on the game, no score. Warrior for Bush, West Coast. Well, turn of the tide there. West Coast were attacking nicely down that terrace side, and a quick thinking by this little halfback. Inaya Katia, he's a live wire, <coughs> he looks a twin brother of Malali actually, he had a little fella on the southern side, but right over the top it goes, looking for the ball is Katia, no he couldn't handle the ball, went right over the back of the line out, the ball's been knocked on though I think by Rowan O'Gorman, it has, the whistle's gone, well they were looking for the ball over the back with the little halfback, but it went right over everybody's head and he couldn't pick it up, O'Gorman tried to gather the slippery ball, he knocked it on, so we've got a scrum now, while Rapper Bush to feed the scrum. Now midway 10 metre line, midway 22 in the goal line actually, so this is a good opportunity here for the Warrapa Bush, they've got the opportunity to go left or right. <coughs> they've got the back line out to the right here, I might tell you. On our side, the commentary box side. Trouble getting the scrum down, the two to go. The referee, Mr Ben O'Keefe. From Wellington, we got the uh, the Kodaku, the mascot, and the nice clean jersey over there, wandering up and down the sideline. Down it goes, Katia puts it in, held on the back by his big number eight, Timo. Timo across it comes now to Karadiani. Karadiani out of game to, to Titapu. Titapu takes the tackle in front of the West Coast post and goes on the ground now, diving in for the ball as the halfback. Katia feeds it up to the big prop, Jonathan Fui Mamo. Fui Manamo, the West Coast have turned this over. I think he fell bad. He's Jager on the inside there. Richford to put the ball. He's offside, that guy. Cannot hang around the back of a West Coast ruck like that on, when you're on your feet or not and pick up the ball without getting the ping against you, but it didn't happen. He's blown the whistle though and said the scrum to go down and the ball's been turned over in that situation by uh, Warrapa Bush. And this defensive one it is for the West Coast. They're still in the same position on the fair, the same uh, distance from the try line as they were, but they've gone from the left of the post to the right of the post now. Defensive scrum, Corey Dean standing right between the uprights. Speeds it in. Oh, it's a tight head. That's a tight head to Warrior Bush. Taking off the ball is Timu. He's been taken by Alan Monk now, only a few metres out from the try line here now. Um, now diving in for the ball there is the big prop forward, Wolfie Davies. He goes We're looking for the ball. We're looking ominous here, Warrior Bush. Keeping it amongst the forwards there. A little half back, directing traffic like a conductor. Where's the ball now? Taken in there closely. Good defence here from the West Coast side though. Still got the ball, they're only metres away here now, Warrapa Bush, digging in, rightly for the ball, where is it? A little bit of a stomp on the head by the halfback there, now he comes in, still driving forward there, the whistle goes, penalty, penalty Warrapa. West Coast were making the tackles. What they'll do here, I don't know, they're five metres out, to, just to the right of the uprights. They'll take it back, will they? The captain, John Van Vloot, asking the question, they decide to take the... Um, Saved to take the points, but um, one or two underneath the box here. Thought they should have been uh, perhaps go, boys, go, but not the case. The fullback to take the kick here, Glenn Waters. Ten minutes gone nearly, and the weather's thickening again. I can feel another shower coming along, but um, the big... You there, Ollie? Yeah, the big boys from the west, from the Warrior Bush forward pack there. Pretty ominous there when they get close to the line. They've got a great big scrum, mate. Technique's good too. Uh, Coast boys need to really have the quick feed, get out the back quickly. Yes, well, uh, comments there from Mr. Olsen. Well, the first points on the board, Warrap War for Bush after 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of play, <coughs> penalty to um, Glenn Waters. Warrap for Bush 3, West Coast 0. Right.
bit of a share going around the hills again. I think we're going to get a wee bit of a deluge, and that's the way it's going to be here this afternoon. But it's Corey Dean to kick off. 18 minutes gone. And now what's the score? 28 minutes to go. So there we are. must have had about 22 minutes. Or 12 minutes, have we? 12 minutes gone. Thompson's got the ball after the kickoff. There it comes. He left foots at high one. Robert Thompson, high ball, hanging up in the wind too. Going back for the ball is Karadiana. Waiting for it. Took it nicely. Beats one tackle of Mullaly. He should never have happened to there on a wet day. Should have made the tackle. Chasing after the ball is Nick Olsen for the bush here. He put it through in the toe and he picked it up. A good lively little player on the left wing too. For the bush there. They put it down nicely in the ball. Katia dives in and grabs it. Out it comes across there to the fullback Karadiana. The first five Karadiana. He makes a few metres. Goes on his ground on his knees. They're setting the ball, they've all, all the ball to play with the last wee while, the Warwick Bush team, and Cartier, out it comes across to Van Balut, the captain. He makes a few metres up towards the 22, lays it back on the ground nicely. Half back, Cartier, and out it comes across to the to the, um, TT, Tutapu. Out it comes to McGilbray, beats a couple of players there. He took around the beat, being thrashed to the ground over there by McClure. He's opposite number, digging in the ball now is um, Cartier. Out it comes across to one of the pop forwards over there. It's uh, the big Wilbur Davies. He goes a metre or two over the 22, he goes, and puts it on the ground nicely for the half back, Cartier. Out it comes now for Karadiana, he feeds it inside for the other big prop for him, Mahamo. But he's been met by a wall of defence and backs on the ground now, digging in for the ball, now it comes. Across it comes to Titapu. Out it comes, low flat pass, out to Putty the hooker. He's been knocked to the ground by McClure. Now they've got it, still in control, the bush, the halfback run blind, the little fella. Caught over there by Malali and Jack of his own size and his own colour. They go on the ground, on the ground, looking for the ball here, the bush team. Five metres away from the line they are. Diving in for the ball, that has been turned over here, is it? No, the bush has still got it. Digging in for the ball, there's the wings we caught at Hayton. He's got the ball on the ground. There are bodies and arms and legs everywhere here now. Whistle goes and a penalty to the West Coast. Well, they needed that one. They needed that one as time ticks away in the first half. 14 minutes gone, Rifle Bush 3, West Coast 0. They had to withstand some pressure there and make some tackles. By word they've done, and they've done it well too, the West Coast side. With full marks to the Bush boys, they're certainly going to putting the acid on the coast and using the territory well. And that little halfback, they've got this in the eye, playing out of his skin here this afternoon. Dean's to feed this line out, to feed this, uh, clip this penalty, I should say, and has gone out right in front of the commentary box window, which is midway 22 in the 10-metre uh, line. Get a good look at this one in West Coast territory. So here we are. Get a good look at the line out too. It's now it's free to feed it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now free to feed the line, and it goes. Gabriel goes through to back, flying over the top. Beautifully taken up the top by Houston for the West Coast. Brad Houston takes it in, feeds it into his teammate there, um, Robert Gabriel. Now the coach have got it. Grubby's got it in the back. The number eight, the big prop forward, reaches through. Wally Davis, he should be offside here. But the hand don't go up. Out it comes to Woods, across to Deans. Deans across to Hughes. Hughes running sideways. Now he thumps it away down the paddock there. Beautiful position as Waters and Wesker. The fullback from Warren runs it back over the 10 metre line. Still going Waters, still going Waters up the 22 metre line. He slipped over in the in face of the defence there, Waters. He puts it on the ground. The penalty goes. You've got to release it on the ground, he says the referee, Mr. Ben O'Keefe. So another defensive one here for the West Coast. Making metres, but they're making metres slowly here, the Coast boys. And 15 minutes gone. 3 0, War for Bush lead. Now it's Corey Deans again, so looking for the touch line here on the eastern on the eastern side of the ground, the terrace side of Rugby Park here in Greymouth. He puts it out just inside the Coast Territory. A good kick into a stiff breeze here this afternoon. No, I think it's still coming from the north, as far as I know. Yes, I know, that's a good comment there from my comments man, saying we can keep these scores down. Then it goes, beautifully off the line. Didn't go in straight, though, into the hands of one of the big fellows here. Balut, the uh, captain here, but still going. None of us, number six. He's got it into um, Tom Fleming going up the line there. Good attacking here strongly. Warriver Bush now off the crooked throw for the West Coast. In it goes now. Half back Katia. Runs across to Karadiana. Woman's run into the referee. Feeds it up to the big pop, Jim Timo. Timo goes to the ground in front of the front of the coast. Out it come, looking ominous here. Long pass out to Titapu. Titapu tackled balls and all by it. Should have let it go, that fellow. Both by Luke Hughes. The ball's on the ground now. Still in position though, the Warriver Bush team. They bring it out to the left. Through Karadiana, he meets that fullback, missed the tackle there. Five metres out now, the uh, by Warrior for Bush. They're hard on attack here, for half back again. Long pass out to McGilvray. McGilvray still going, reaching across, they smashed over the touchline in the corner. Slightly built centre three quarter, Jesse McGilvray. Body position, I think, was a little bit too high, and he's been bashed over the sideline by the West Coast defence in the corner flag. Yes, he's running upstairs like a um, tin soldier there, and he just got absolutely peeled. 
West Coast to feed this one over the back now. Takes it by good take by uh, good take up here by um, Rowan O'Gorman. He makes it up over the 22. He goes still going. Mc McGowan goes to the ground now. Woods digs in for the ball. Well, River Bush players all over the place. Now it comes to Thompson on his right hand side, left hand side, and that's a beautiful kick by Thompson. Drives the ball back to the 22 into the wind now. Going back to the ball is Waters. Glenn Waters, he runs it up as of slowly, ducks the dummy, goes left end right and then puts a piss ball kick across the halfway line. Beautifully picked up by Robert Gabriel for the West Coast. He scored here last week. Beautifully taken, the little half back here to make the tackle on him though. Down it goes, the West Coast have turned it over. The ball's the slippery as an eel there because they out in front of that particular part of the ground. Midway 22 and 10 metre line, and the big team who goes for a bit of a run with the ball and he sets it up nicely here for the Warrior of Bush forwards. Looking for the ball in there now is the halfback Cartier. Long pass out to um, Karadiana on his own over there for Warrior Bush. The ball goes off the side of the boot. Coming after the ball is Nick Davey. He puts the kick ahead, Davey. Oh, the ball come off. He's been a better goal into the end goal area, I tell you now. We would have scored in the scoreboard corner. But West Coast bring on to the attack. The first time they've been down in that part of the ground all game. Long kick there from, from Warrior. It was a very poor kick from Karadiana. The ball hung up in the wind when he had the wind behind him, I should say. He didn't hit it right. It spun like a top. Out on the full, we bounced it into touch, so there we are. Down it goes to St. Luke Hughes. Hughes, he beats a couple, beats one, beats two. Can't beat the rest of the defence, so he goes on the ground. A good tackle over there by McGilbray. Going away with Brad Houston. Houston still going, arms and legs, pumping. He died for the corner. That's a try. Died for the corner, Brad Houston. Boy. Oh, yes, he's no try. Well, I thought the arm went up. It's right round the corner here of the commentary box. It's that hard to see, you can't reach out, but oh, well, good play by the coast side, Ollie, and unlucky there for Brad Houston. Yeah, very unlucky. Hey, listen, the boys are playing with a fair bit of polish. These new coaches have done well with them. Congrats. Yes, well, they're up in the ante a little bit in the forwards, and they're spreading the big boys around the park here today. They've got a massive pack here. here um, so Cartier feeds it. They're on hard on defence here. The big, big push coming on from the coast. It goes back with the big push here. There's a dive in the corner. And this time the try's been scored. Well, they're 15 metres in from Tuts, right down in front of the Alan Adams stand. And this time the referee, Ben O'Keefe, singles a try. And coming up with the ball, I don't know who scored the try. But no doubt we'll hear who it is very shortly. Good try. 30 minutes gone. West Coast the try. I think it was the Woods who went round the side. Very nippy half back. As I say, down the end of the paddock after Houston went very close. And the try, I think, scored by Dave Woods. I'll give it to him anyway. Been a real find, this fellow here. Marist Albion, I think. Marist Albion. Well, no doubt we'll hear shortly with a uh, from the ground announcer. Hey, Mullaley, who scored? Who scored the try? Woodsy. Thanks, mate. Deans comes in with a kick. He's sliding it in lightly. He's pushed it out to the right, unfortunately, but never mind. Plenty of distance on it from Corey Deans, the young 5 8 from Wataraa. So West Coast in front by five points to three. 19 minutes left in the first half. They're trudging back the big bush forwards here. No, they won't like the wet weather. They won't like being moved around. I know I didn't when I was playing. <laughs> <coughs> okay, music blaring away in the background. Now, Karate out of the kickoff, slides one along the ground, waiting for the ball as Alan Monk in front of his 22. Juggles it, then picks it up, goes to ground. Over the top go the WB of West Coast forwards. Now Woods is standing back, come across to Dean. Dean fires it out to Robert Thompson, using him with his powerful left boot, and he hammers it away down. Going back for the ball as uh, Glenn Waters lets a bounce in front of him, nearly dropped the ball, makes one decision, then the other. Decides to go round past Mullaley. Mullaley gets him and takes him over the sideline, him and Luke Hughes, and they bundle him over the sideline. Good defence and good chasing from the West Coast forwards, uh, West Coast outside backs. Luke Hughes and Mullaley, and they pushed Waters over. He was indecisive what he was going to do with the football, the fullback for West for the, uh, W. Bush. I can't understand why he didn't use that wind and bang the ball right down into the West Coast territory here, but still, West Coast on attack. No, not on attack, just inside their own half here. Bush half, beautifully taken by Gabriel, the lock forward for the West Coast, he takes it down. Woods beautifully presented, out it comes along the line to Dean. Dean's just quite happy to shovel it on this afternoon to McClure. Come back into Luke Hughes, he's caught by the flank of Len Bluton, Timo. Goes on the ground, Woods again, going to the right, out it comes to Dean. He puts the chip in this time, Corey Dean. Good kick too, away down into the scoreboard corner. Well done, Corey Dean. a beautiful kick by the young 5'8". And he hammers it down into that scoreboard corner and swings West Coast back onto the attack. 
Well, enterprising play, Ollie, and the big forwards of the West, West Coast forward playing extremely well at the moment. Rowan O'Gorman's playing really well. He seems to be getting around the paddock last year. He played at hooker this year at number eight. So, defensive line out over there for Richard Putty to feed it for the bush. 15 metres in from the uh, 15 metres from the try line. Here they are, and it goes scoreboard corner. Beautifully taken down over there, though, by the big forward Brandon Young for the West for the for the bush. They take it down. Cartier, Williams raving round. He decides to kick it over the top of the scrum once again. Some off the boot slightly. Waiting for the ball is Nick Davey. He drops the ball though, picks it up in the halfway line, drops it down. Difficult to take over in that sideline. Unable to take the catch, Nick Davey. And knocks the ball on just in front of the halfway line, which brings Warrapa Wish back into their territory. Just a few metres inside, I'm about five metres in from touch, but the ball swirling round. The wind is ceased, all coming from the northwest over there. 17 minutes to go till half time in this Portland Championship match here. The West Coast up by five points to three to the try. A few moments ago to Woods, the halfback for the West Coast. So is Cartier, his opposite number to feed it to uh, Ania Katia. He puts it in, close to the sucks on over there they are too. Timo holding it in the back. Now he reaches in Katia and grabs the football. Out of come to Karadiana, running across the paddock slightly. But he's been picked up by Deans and hammered to the ground. Him and Luke Hughes, the defence is good here for the Coast boys today. Goes on the ground, there could be a penalty coming here. Didn't let the ball go, but the referee lets it go. Cartier's got it. He takes two or three players and goes down on the ground with the ball and sets it up nicely. Cartier digs in and gets it again. Ball passed out. Mrs. Timo and picked up there by Titapu. Titapu, Parama, Lewington. Here it comes again. Big pass out of here now. Good hit, good big tackle there, but bounces off at the Timu, the big number eight. Now he goes to ground. Picked up beautifully and driven forward by Young. Brandon Young, locked forward for over. Coming in there, a the bit of a knee and things going in from the little halfback there as well. But now it comes across to Cartier. Karadiana standing flat, standing still. Nowhere to go. Run into Houston and uh, Telfrey. Trying to slip the pass underneath, he can't, can't get him on the ground, now he goes, Karadiana's got Kakatai's got it again, running sideways, now he straightens up and goes, he's bouncing off players, left, right and centre, tackled over there by Mossy Fadaka, goes on the ground, the halfback's out of play here, the big prop forward here, number one, Tui Mamu kips it on, goes through the legs of another one here, the referee waved his hand to say what's happened, I don't know, now the West Coast forward drive over the top, but taken by Woods, beats one, beats two, passes it out to them. Mullaney, he goes back and puts a little kick over the side, a good one it is too, and bounces into touch back in the West Coast Territory, a couple of metres, right out in front of the main stand here at Rugby Park. So once again, the West Coast got out of jail there, but Ollie, you can't help but think some of these big railroad bush boys are under the pump a wee bit. Yeah, when, they get, when the wee halfback for Warrath Bush is not in the field of play, directing traffic, they seem a wee bit lost. Well, the ball went in for the bush, and that time the ball been knocked on. But it's a short arm penalty coming back here. Somebody must have been in front of the ball. Oh, West Coast thought they had it. Had it around the wrong way there. It's quick taken there by the halfback Van Vloot, the captain. Johan Van Vloot sounds like a South African to me or a Dutchman. Puts it the ball on the ground now. The halfback Cartier brings it out. Always been the ball being knocked. Penalty there though, Brad Houston offside. So a penalty it is for the Warrior Bush right on the halfway line. It is just a couple of metres on the West Coast side of the uh, halfway line. So they're just gasping for oxygen, some of these big forwards. I can tell you that now. And here's the kick coming in now. It's going to go. It's been hanging up in the wind too. Not even going to go out, but it is out now, right under the commentary box window. Not hitting the ball pretty sweetly, not sweetly at all, this 5-8 today, especially when he's got the wind. A bit of a scuffle right under the commentary box window here, but I can't see what's going on. So tower free to feed it in the line out, right under the box here, midway 22 in the 10 metre line. 14 minutes to go till half time, West Coast in front by five points to three. Tower free to feed it, looking for who? Going back towards Alan Monk at the back. Beautifully taken, not straight though. Taken it beautifully by Curtis. Headway he goes over the ball. I hope you're watching today, uh, the big fella on his own. Beautifully taken over there by Curtis. And then beautifully up he goes too. First time he touched the ball, Kevin Curtis today, but oh, they've turned it over. They've too slow getting back there to help him. Now they feed it up to the big prop. Forward there at um, Willie Davis. He goes to the ground. Now it comes back to Cartier. Moves a long pass, went across to nobody. Picked up by Dati Tapu. The uh, back inside it comes to McGilbury. McGilbury back inside now to the flagger. Loose forward for John Van Vliet. He goes on the ground on the halfway line now. Gaining a bit of momentum now, the bush again. Had it come to the right to um, Karadiana. He slides it under the toe. Goes out there, but the ball's got into touch on the 10 metre line. Well, beautiful break there by Kevin Curtis by word. Quick pass here. Now the play's going everywhere. Back it comes to Malali. He fires one down the ball here. Waiting for the ball is Glenn Waters. Takes the ball, but oh, well, very nearly knocked it on. Now it comes back to McGilbray. McGilbray's been caught by Houston over there, and uh, can't they drive him on the ground? The ball should come back on the coast side. Now he's turned it over and laid it back beautifully on the ground. 
Warrior Bilbo Bush a wee bit tardy here with the ball on the ground at the moment. Here it comes back now to move. Um, Karadiani puts a little kick ahead. Bounces nicely for uh, the fullback Thompson. He decides to go for a bit of a run, Thompson. He does so up over the top of the 10 metre line he goes. Goes to ground with the ball now. He's coming back. Woods is reaching in for the ball now. She'll put the kick in here, I'd say. No, he doesn't. Long to Dean. Dean decides to put the ball on the toe. No one out over there that's on the toilet at all, but he bounces it into touch. Unfortunately, he's on the full. Ah, oh, well, he plays seesawed from one side of the paddock to the other and up and down all over the place. Everybody gasping for a wee bit of 0 2 here with 12 minutes to go till half time. West Coast in front by five points to three. So just inside the West Coast Territory over on the terrace side, the 10 metre line coming up over there. Richard Putty to feed the line out. Well, you know, the big boys are just gasping a wee bit here. Putty to put it in. And it goes. Well, it didn't look straight. Taken there by uh, McLean, but those who are on the referee tunned it straight away. Good call over there by Steve Manzies, one of the boys on the sideline, but it wasn't straight. It went straight down the left-hand side. <coughs> the halfback could have taken it and gone home for the weekend, but he didn't. So there we are, the scrum to go down. A lot of play been been at 10 or 15 metres in from touch on either side of the ground, but this is over on the terrace side here at Rugby Park today. 15 to 18 metres into touch, and it's scrummed inside the west coast uh, half just by 10 or 15 metres, and it's Woods to feed it. Dean's standing away deep out to his left. Good scrum coming in off the back by O'Gorman. No, he said put it down, the front rows go down. So referee today, Mr Ben O'Keefe, once again, said before, the call coming through the aid of News Talk ZB here in Greymouth in conjunction with ITM Greymouth and thanks to Phil and to Tracy was here at the ground this morning so thanks for you people to come along making the call happen here this afternoon and also we've mentioned before about the West Coast Rugby Union website manager Mr Kevin here who's also making a huge contribution to the, the Coast uh, Facebook page etc etc in it goes Woods getting around the little halfback reaches round there he can't do that and he's offside so rightly called and rightly so You've got to be behind the last man's feet or he reached round though, but my word, he's a, he's, a, um, he's a nippy little fellow. He's a nippy little fellow, doesn't look unlike little Mullaly we've got here, but... Uh, so Dean's with the, with the penalty, he puts it out, beautiful kick too, nice kick from uh, Corey Deans, with the wind coming across the teeth of it there, and he's put it out, West Coast sludge back onto the attack, uh, not onto the attack, but... Inside their territory, midway 10 metre line in the 22, still on that eastern side of the ground, where a lot of the play's been this afternoon. So 10 to play till half time and Towfrey defeat it. Good place to be at this time of the game. So Troy Towfrey defeat it, going back, the forwards moving around, going back, Muck does it, takes it off the top, but then Muck that one up, taken away by Timu. There was a poor line out from the coast there. Now Boire for Bush have got it. They've got to get the possession here. Long pass out to Karadiana, standing for that's one of the forwards. I think it might be uh, Johan Van Blit. He goes on the ground, tucking the ball's been stolen here by Alan Monk. Now he goes up over the 10 metre line. Good play by the West Coast captain. Leading by example, now it comes to Deans. What'll Deans do? He puts a flat kick on the play. Waters is there for it. Bounces out of his hands. He had to go back and pick it up. There's no option but to put it on. There's the strength of the wind we're talking about before. And it's nearly, it's nearly half time. And that's the first time the Warrior for Bush have used the wind to any real extent. Now Thompson slides it across the face of the wind here, going across for the ball as a number six. And a good kick here for the coast. Things happening for them down there with the bounce of the ball at the moment. Going over the ball was Fleming. Tried to take it. He thought it was going to go out over the side. Let it bounce, and the ball bounced into touch. So the West Coast back where they were about a few sessions ago. But this shows you the strength of that wind, Ollie. And it's, I think it's really the first time that the uh, Warrior Bush boys have put the ball to toe and got it downtown because you've only got to nudge it and go 50 or 60 metres. They have not, and time ticks away. Nine minutes to go till half time, and it's Putty to feed it. Who are they looking for in the morning? The big putt on the middle there, Brandon Young. Now they've got it beautifully down. Take it, into the, take it down on the mall. The halfback there, slapping people on the backside, trying to say, well, keep the push on, but Coast are equal to it now. It hold them to a standstill. They've got to use it shortly, otherwise the turtle will go, I can tell you. Out it comes to Karadiana, standing flat and still. McGilvray's got it, slides the ball back inside of McGilvray that time, I should say. He's been tackled over there by uh, Houston and hammered to the deck there. He won't go back inside him again, I, don't, I wouldn't imagine. Now he's got the ball, the little cut here. Comes across here, one of the coast players again, been knocked on. I mean, so... <laughs> he's just sliding into a comedy of errors now. His poor old uh, second 5'8 there, Hitapu Lewington. He tried to do something and the kick slid off his boot and Grubby tried to pick it up and he knocked it on. But West Coast are still have got the advantage here of the territory. 
The scrum middle of the paddock there to go down on the 10 metre line. It'll be a warrior for bush feed. But the game just losing a wee bit of structure, Ollie, is the where as the old tiredness is coming into the legs. Yeah, but uh, I still reckon West Coast is the fittest I've seen them in years. They look very polished. Yes, well, that was the... Uh, they've had a month or so, um, uh, Nathan, and uh, that was one of their uh, things this year was to get the side fit. They're not a massively big side, but uh, they get round in numbers and they're mobile, supporting each other. And it's just the little things that are letting both sides down here today, but it's the conditions, and you've got to play to them, unfortunately. So, but just getting back there before to that nice break by um, Kevin Curtis. So, no doubt Dennis Smith's over here somewhere. His grandfather, as you know, he's a star walker of the Ranga Rugby League Club. But he, I think I saw him come in over there before. He's got a big long coat on with a balaclava. So, um, good on you, Denny, if you're here, mate. So it's the little halfback Cartier to feed the scrum here for Wai Ripper Bush. He puts it in. Cartimo hanging on to the back of it for him too. He's looking to have Woods is going to put a bit up. He goes to the open side. On the blind side, Cartier running to it straight across the paddock though. He puts the wee slides and we kick in further. Down it goes, but Thompson's got all the wide in the world to watch it dribble over the touchline there. Over into the end goal area and just stamp, stamp it down. So good play by the little halfback though for the... For so it's got to be a uh, dropout from the 22 after that now. Seven minutes to go. Ball comes across. Hughes has got it. Now he flicks it back across to uh, Corey Deans. So they're all saying to get back behind the ball. Alan. Go from you to the super you with Metamucil Multi-Health Fibre. Its 100% natural psyllium helps remove unwanted waste, toxins and helps lower cholesterol. Making you feel, well, super. Try the one-month starter pack today. PNG. Good tackle over there by Robert Gabriel. Now TT has still got it here. Long pass out here to the big block forward there, Young. He puts it into the hands of Davies. He goes on the ground, still in control here while Rapper Bush. Now coming away to his right track, slips the ball, falls over, going for the intercept was Mullaly. He's handed it off to the captain here, Van Belief. He feeds it at the Timu. Timu going for the corner, but once again he's been battled into the corner. Well, good defence here. Good defence there by West Coast. They had the scramble at the big number eight, was hammering for the line. Good body position too, Jim Timo. Coast put him out in the corner, but Mullaly went for the intercept there when he should have been taking the tackler of John Van Balut. Balut, a defensive strong line out here coming up for the West Coast side. They need to hold them out here. They're only five metres out, Warrior Bush. Right over the touchline once again, looking for the security of the, the halfback. McClure takes it in front of his own goalpost, sets it up nicely. West Coast forwards pick the get there and have him give him support. Woods backs into the scrum here now and picks the ball, fires it in the end goal to Luke Hughes. Luke Hughes hammers it across. Good kick by Luke Hughes here. Ball coming down inside. No, it didn't quite go out. Picked up over there by Cameron Hayden. He brings the ball across the waters on his own 10 metre line. Now he puts it across to Nick Olsen. He's got some wheels. Wheels across there to um, the first by back. The other wing's recorded. No, it's McKilbray's got it for um, Wairipa Wish. They go on the ground there. Over the top they go. Where's the ball? They've still got it under control over there, but going backwards to Wairipa Bush forwards. Picked up now by that halfback to Tia. He goes and slides and goes and weaves and pins. He had a beautiful tackle over there. Oh, what's happening now? The ball's on the ground. The referee goes, so it's been knocked on. Well, they're making plenty of breaks, this little fellow. He just can't get the last pass to stick. And it's just the conditions that are doing it, ladies and gentlemen, listeners throughout the country. They're trying hard here, every, every player on both these sides here this afternoon. But the conditions are having a little bit to play as time ticks away with five minutes to go till half time. But sustained period play once again, Ollie, from the Warrapa Bush side. Well, they've ruined two tries so far, Just, but what I can't understand is why they haven't been downtown with this breeze all the time and looking to put a lot more pressure on the Coast boys. Yeah, well, extra comments there from the big fellow, but um, that's, a, that's a true statement, though. They've only used that breeze, that real win once, and got downtown here, but uh, Jim Timu there, he died for the line there, and just desperate defence, but I couldn't quite see who was in it for the West Coast, but I'd say... Brad Houston was one of them in there, along with um, Robert, uh, could have been Gabriel and young Curtis, I'm sure. But um, we've got the mascot now underneath us down here. Just uh, a bit of an injury thing there. The Zambucks are on the field here now. So a defensive scrum here for the West Coast. They're 10 metres up. Well, they're just to the left of the goalpost, as you're looking at from the Allen Edom stand. And they're about 15 metres inside the Warrabah Bush 22. Backs to the wall here at this stage, West Coast. As time ticks away, five minutes to go to the full time. Now the ball's been rolled in nicely here by E. Woods. Taken off the back by O'Gorman. He takes it away over there, taking around his ankle, but Fleming there, he's locked. Loose forwards of all the balls on the ground. Now Woods has got it out across to, uh, to Nick Davey. Nick Davey puts one on the toe and tries to make some ground, but the ball goes out. 
And the penalty there for uh, didn't quite see what it was for, Ollie. What was it for? Yes, not releasing the tackle player. There we are. Uh, Gorman came round the side and Tom Fleming, the big warrior of the bush loose forward, grabbed him and failed to let him go. And good kick here from Deans. Corey Deans takes play just about to the halfway line, just, just not quite to the halfway line on that eastern side. We're 89.5% of the game's been this afternoon. Today to over there with the West Coast still in front by five points to three. The try after 30 minutes to Dave Woods and the penalty after 10 minutes to Warrapa Bush. So West Coast five. Warren Bush three, in it goes. Nice take by Monk. He's feeding the line now to Woods. Woods across it comes to Dean. Standing black and still the wind hanging onto the ball now. Now Thompson decides to put the left foot to it. Not a good kick there taken by the wing three quarter over there. Cameron Hayton. He goes for a bit of a run now. They've got to tidy it up here. Coach now. Warren Bush putting some pressure on before half time. The halfback Katia comes across to the big fella there. Oh, big hit there. The big fella Willie Davis boy, Luke Hughes. Now that Jim Timo takes it all. Feeds it back into this little halfback. Live war eel here. He goes on the ground now. Now West Coast have got to defend like nothing on earth now. Now they've got the ball reaching in for it as high as um, the big fellow, <coughs> Brandon Young. <clears throat> he takes it. West Coast players everywhere. Young takes it forward again for Warren for Bush. In front of the West Coast goalpost, here they are. Now Katia, he's got the ball. Feeds it out now to, the, to Tom Fleming. Wins and spins and weaves and pirouettes. He lays it back now. Katia again. Out it comes to Van Vliet, the captain. Tackled by Houston. Down he goes on the ground. They're only metres away now. Katia. Carradiana, he's taken. Good tackle by Gabriel over there and Kevin Curtis. They go on the ground. They're still in control of the ball here, though, Warren Bush. Out it comes now. Standing still, though, they are. The big players, Brandon uh, <clears throat> Brandon Young. They're only metres away here. They go to the left here. They're in trouble here, the West Coast side. They've come over the top. Well, they come over the top. The whistle's gone. A penalty West Co a penalty to Warren Bush. Bush have moved it out to the left. They had to have scored. They were, they were three to one, one stage there. And the halfback brings it down now. It's two minutes, 42 seconds. Till half till, till half time. And what? No, one of the Warwick Bush players down. But big defence once again there from the West Coast side. Their forwards are really barred up here this afternoon, especially the tight five. They've really taken it to these bigger these bigger opponents here today. They know they've come here this afternoon, the boys from the Bush. I can tell you that right here and now. And I think it's the captain down, Johan Van Vliet. He was in that movement three or four times, the West Warwick the Bush captain. But full marks to both sides there. Trying to do things here today in difficult conditions. So it's Waters to feed this, um, have the shot at goal. Similar business to what he had one, albeit 30 odd minutes ago. 22 or 3 metres into the slight angle to the right of the post. We've got a good look at this one. I can tell you that now. It'll put the bush in the lead at half time. There's the kick from Waters. There it is. Good kick it is too. After 38, 59 minutes. Penalty to Waters. Makes that score now. Six, five to Warrapa Bush with a minute and 29 seconds to go till half time. <coughs> well, she makes for an interesting day. As Hughes kicks off. Big little dribble over the top. Knocked back on the West Coast. They've been watching a bit of ITM cut rugby here now. McClure has got the ball now. It comes to Hughes. Hughes running strongly now. He moves across the up towards the 22. He goes over on the uh, stand of the... Down to the ground, the ball's on the ground now. Over the top it goes now. But Warren Bush was peeling for Pilipunakai takes it. Rising up there. Still on the ground. Oh, they've mucked that one up on the ground now. West Coast, they've lost position. Is the whistle gone? Oh, the ball's flying everywhere now. The little halfback, Katia's got it for the bush. He's been taken off by Tauferi. McClure takes it on the ground and loses it. Oh, now the whistle goes. Should just about be the half time, two to going. Any old tick of the clock, but another scrum to go down, said the referee, Ben O'Keefe from Wellington. Well, West Coast had got it wide. I think there was an opportunity there. But they're in a muddy part of the ground there and it's hard to get the way and get the decent mud, the mud the lunch hooks on the ball there. A couple of knock-ons each way. But Warrapa Bush have taken the lead in the last 39th minute of the first half and lead West Coast by six points to five. Katia to feed the last line out of the first half, scrum of the first half. There we are. Takes it across. He kicks it straight out on the full and the referee has no hesitation but calls no side in the first half. So there we are. Good first half indeed by the West Coast side. As they leave the ground here with Warrapa Bush ahead by two penalties to uh, their fullback Glenn Waters at half time. To a try to Dave Wood, 6 5 they lead in this national championship um, Heartland game of uh, division uh, round three here at Rugby Park in Greymouth. Warrapa Bush at half time in front by six points to five. 
but West Coast will be well and truly satisfied with that performance, Ollie, won't they? Going into the lead at half time, especially with this with this wind and the weather, it looks like it's going to build again in the second half. Yeah, well, uh, the big rain clouds are starting to gather around Cobden Hills again, James, and I hope the coach uses this wind to put it in the corner and create some errors on the Wairarapa Bush team. I don't think the coach for Wairarapa Bush would be a hell of a happy with their performance in the first half, even though it's a one-point lead. And, yeah, I think Nick Curtis... Uh, Kevin Curtis has had a great game, and uh, Ryan O'Gorman has had a good game too. Good, steady, hard games. Yes, well, it's been a, um, as I say, it's been... And um, that's what we'll do here this afternoon. So there we are at half-time uh, half in this very important game here this afternoon at um, Rugby Park and Greymouth. There's six points to five. And once again, just say a big hello to all those supporters listening on the, uh, on the internet and, uh, and on the radio around, especially good day to Vicky and the grandkids down there in Invercargill. The father Mark, of course, the way Rifka gave him up there in Radfilly today. So big hello to Andrew and Jennifer and Charlotte and Austin and Francis, of course. So there we are. And everybody else that's listening throughout the, throughout the country, throughout the world. A big hello to them all too. But that's the story at Rugby Park here this afternoon. So there's a Jimmy and Grant at half time. The Warrabah Bush ahead by six points to five. But the weather, I said, just looks through a little bit for the worse when you can't see the Cobden Hill here at Greymouth. But uh, interesting second half about to do start shortly. And... Uh, with the wind behind them, West Coast, I think, will be um, probably the favourites at this stage. But who, ca who knows what will happen in the second half. So that's the story at halftime from Rugby Park. It's here at Rugby Park. It won't be long before you're underway with the second half. So just be interesting to see how the West Coast, what the West Coast tactics West Coast use. They didn't play all that well going into the wind last week. And, uh, but they did, they did play well with the wind last week as well. So hopefully there will be... Nor are the same, and if anything at all, the wind's freshened here at the Rugby Park here this afternoon as the uh, starting to rain. We're going to get a shower. I can feel it. Friendy down there sounds like he's hit half a dozen bottles of the sponsor's products, but uh, anyway, as you come out of the paddock now, the West Coast side comes out of the paddock. Now, I can't see any changes on either side. Once again, thanks very much to News Talk ZB. In conjunction with ITM and Greymouth for bringing the call here today, and we must mention again our West Coast website manager, Mr. Kevin, here listening to the commentary today, making it possible to go out on the internet. And those that are listening, a big welcome to all those people up and down the country, worldwide, or wherever you may be this afternoon. As the weather thickens here this afternoon at Rugby Park, as Warriver Bush be due to kick off, Karatiana kicks off, about to kick off here for the West Coast. Take the opportunity also to well welcome the uh, Mr. Nick Rogers from Tui's Breweries here today and our own sponsors that are around the ground as well. So the coach kick off and Alan Monk takes it. He's in front of the 22. He takes it up over the 22 metre line. Now he puts it on the ground looking for the ball as Woods. Out it comes to Doug. Out it comes to Thompson, the fullback, and he lets himself know. And big left footed kick now, waiting back for the ball as Waters. Takes it in front of his 22 metre line. It shows you the distance. He throws a bit of a dummy pass back into Titafu. He decides to kick it, goes straight up in the air, and it's hanging in the breeze. Waiting back for the ball now is um, David Woods, the halfback for the West Coast, and he bangs it back. Waiting for the ball, also bouncing away from his little halfback, Titapu, uh, to Katia, but he beats a couple of players on the ground. He run up over the halfway, and he's still going, Katia. Oh, they bundle him over the ball. He's a slippery little bloke, this little fellow. <coughs> Excuse me. Sandfly. Anyway, an interesting start. They're testing themselves out with kicks, the West Coast, but the kick, West Coast kicks have got to be educated. They've got to use this, the depth, the... Uh, the top of the ground to bounce the ball back in the end goal. Beautifully taken by Monk off the top. Woods goes back, couldn't hang on to the ball. Now it's been taken away by one of the Bush players here now. Putty, but he couldn't take it either. Richard Putty takes it up over the 22 line. The ball's gone a mile forward, waiting for the ball now. The West Coast are gathering whether he's playing advantage here, I don't know. Now it comes back to, Dean, to Thompson. Thompson left foot this time up the touchline. That's a better kick by Robert Thompson. The ball's going to come way, way back here. Right out in front of a good chase up here too by the West Coast. He brings the ball into play. On the 10 metre line, West Coast Territory. So that gives you so much strength of the wind there. But all sorts of changing fortunes in these opening, op opening minutes of the game in the first half. Once Putty made a break, then somebody out from Warriper Bush, and then the little of half back again sold the biggest dummy you've ever seen. So Richard Putty defeat it now. Goes towards the back, taken off the top nicely by Young. Brandon Young drops it at his feet. Now the ball looked like it went forward. He indicated two from the touch touchdowns. It did so. Ball came down there, hanging in the breeze a little bit when he dropped the ball down to the halfback, Cartier, Brandon Young, and the ball's gone forward. So the referee's going to bring it in about 15 metres, and the rain is starting to come in again too. Only three minutes gone, so another scrum inside the West Coast Territory by about 15 metres. 
And they're about the same distance, 18 or so in from touch. So it's Woods defeated. All the back line lined out to the right. What can they do here? What will they do? Big scrum by the bush here, though. Big scrum by the bush. So Gorman have to take it off the back himself. He takes it off and still struggles it up over the stream. Timo takes him to ground. They reach over the top, though. The bush didn't think you're allowed to do that in rugby today, but he can. Now the arm goes up and the penalty's out, and fair enough, too. You've got to let the team that's got the football have it. You can't reach over and fall off your feet. My word, things are going to be difficult here this afternoon as this game goes on, if this weather continues, but it won't be as difficult as it is for those... Uh, those people that are going to be watching that game in Wellington tonight. Now here it is, Corey Deans. Now his opportunity to drive it right into the corner here of the West Coast have they does so too. Good kick by Deans. He puts it now within midway 22 in the goal line here. West Coast swing right onto the attack with that early penalty. Well, now the wind's intensified here. Now the breeze has really gotten up now and things are starting to blow around. The old commentary box is starting to wobble a wee bit as well. But she's well and truly anchored on both sides, I can assure you. <laughs> Won't go anywhere for a while. OK, Tower Free feeds it. Beautifully taken by Monk. Now he hands it down to the, to, to the, big, uh, the big front row forward here, Hamish Cochran. He takes it in, but the whistle's gone. Now, that wasn't straight, so... So there we lost the advantage there, the West Coast boys. So defence... Conditions deteriorate badly here. The people on the stand over there all ducking for cover. Chili bins going, hats going on, coats, scarves, dresses getting blown over people's heads. But never mind. Concentrate back here on the game. So it's Katia to feed it now. They're nine metres out from the West Coast try line here and 15 in from touch. On the eastern side of that ground again. Here it is, rolls it in. Good scrum here from the coast side. Good scrum to the coast boys. They wheel it round again. But takes it off the back of his team here. The number eight here caught by one leg by Monk. Feeds it off to... Um, the captain there, um, John Van Vliet, he feeds it over the top and the halfback, Cartier, puts it in this, throws you the strength of the wind, he kicks it and he didn't make any ground at all. The best man blew the ball back over his head and the ball's out on the 22 metre line, still in the West Coast Territory. And this time, Tower Free defeat it. They'll be hoping for things so we can get the ball into his hand of his forwards this time without it going offline with the wind. So here it is, then it goes, taken this time by Monk, he's moved, no, Gabriel took it that time, beautiful, takes it back to Tower Free, Greg gathers it himself on the 22 metre line, they're driving back a metre or two by Young and McLean, but they've still got it in control here, the West Coast forwards, Woods reaches in and grabs it, now it comes across here to uh, Robert Gabriel, he almost lost it by looking at who was coming towards him, now they takes it, still on the back, now Woods takes it on the short side, feeds it to his captain, Monk, he brings it in field a metre or two, not going anywhere really here, the West Coast team, <clears throat> now Woods have still got it, now standing still as, as uh, Hamish Cochran. He meets a wall of defence over there with Fleming and Van Vliet, the captain, but the West Coast have got it under control. They need to try and do something. Feeds the ball, short one into Mullaley, but oh, they had to get hold of him, and if they didn't catch him, he was under the post, I can tell you that now. Oh, Gorman's taken the ball away up over the 22. Now a bit of momentum from the Coast boys going forward. Now Woods had to go back and kick it. Now it shows a bit of a dummy now, Woods, but oh, he's buried over there by something. The ball's laid back nicely. Now it comes to Mullaley. What will he do? Stepping and sliding and weaving and pitching. Ball's been taken and been stolen off him though, but the whistle goes. Well, play pretty scrappy if it continues like this. <coughs> right, here's a big man coming on for Warriba Bush. Kurt Simon's coming on. He's been replaced. He's placing one of the big men out of the front row here, looks at Kurt Simons. Unusual looking character. Big beard and big bushy hair, but he's uh, had his day, the big number one, I think it is, for West Coast. For, for um, Jonathan Fui Mayano comes off, and on comes Kurt Simons into the front row for the Warriper Bush side. So it's West Coast defeat at this time. Woods defeat at midway 22 in the 10 metre line in midfield. Scrum to go down. This wind is strengthening again, as we said before. Six points to five, the Warriper Bush still lead. I don't think there's going to be many points in it anyway today, but. Can they hang on to their lead or will the coast turn po field position into points as the game goes by? Scrum to go down now. And it comes. Right, that's a bit of hit on from everybody. Anyway, Gorman takes it off the back this time. He does. He feeds it into the woods. The woods run slightly. Feeds it back into a Gorman. Not a very good pass. The ball's gone to ground. But the whistle goes. That's poor play by the coast there. They've got to have some positivity about that. That was negative play. They passed the ball forward and done everything when they had a line up outside. Now they've turned the penalty over and now an opportunity here for Waters of the West Coast, the Wiper Bush fullback to, to 
to get the Warriper Bush team out of their own half. With seven minutes to go in the game, gone. And David Crouchley's on, is he? Who's he on for, Ollie? Funaki, Funaki gone off, is he? So Moses Funaki's off. Troy Tauf, I mean, not Troy, um, and it goes now, taken off the top, is it? Beautiful Young's coming into his own, the line has Randy Young for Warriper Bush, it feeds into Katia. Now they take it over the 10 metre ball, slides out of his position there, must have gone forward, I don't know. Referee says, what will he do here? Now the coast have got it under control. Now it comes back to Thompson. Thompson left foots it up. Once again, wobbly, unconditional kicks. Waters picks it up easy. He could have picked, he could have got somewhere at the blinds into she would have picked that ball up. Now he's missed his area to make up for a man's there, Thompson. Puts him on the ground the halfway little line. Now it comes out to Van Vloot. The Warriper Bush captain, a good tackle there. He got the ball, a beautiful pass away, but couldn't hang on to it was Titapu. Second 5-8 for the West Coast. Now they've got it on the ground here by Curtis, the um, flanker. Now Woods have got it. Now it comes out to Hughes. Hughes fires a pass to Monk. He's captain standing still. Now he's got it to Brad Houston. He feeds it in far to Mullaley. Mullaley beats a couple up over the half line. In he goes. Beats his little little number now. Feeds the ball inside to Houston. Houston going strong and running, trying to feed the ball away. Just set it up and play it again, West Coast. Nothing fancy. On the 10 metre line now, in control again, out it comes to Deans. Deans fires a long pass out to Luke Hughes. Luke Hughes beats a couple, trying to stand up one and two. Caught over there by the West. Warrior West defence on the touch line over there, midway 22 in the 20, uh, 20 in the 10 metre line. Reaching in for the ball is Woods. He's still got the football low, it comes. Coming now, out it comes to Thompson playing at full back, half first five. Feeds the ball into the, the big Robert Gabriel running strong at Harvey. Met by a wall of Warrior West defence there, still in control. Houston goes for a bit of a run there, caught by one leg, still going down. Over there, the prop four, Wally Davis has him around the ankles and down he goes, but still coming away with the ball now. Who is it, was it? Dave Crouchy, now the ball goes, hands all over the place now, coming away with the ball is Van Vliet for, for Warrapa Bush, the strongest of the fittest here. Now the ball's gone forward, <coughs> trying to do things all over the place. Both teams are trying to play dry weather football here. And they've not a day for it. You know, they're better off to take the 10 yards or take the 5 yards to 2 metres, the 1 metre it is, and put the ball in and set it again and start again. 10 minutes gone. Muddy part of the ground. West Coast have a penalty here, and Corey Dean says, I'm having a shot at goal here. On a good day, he'd kick, out the, on a good day here, he'd kick this halfway to Wataroa, no problem at all. He's got enough wind behind him here today to put the coast back in front, so he's just on the 10 metre, about a metre and a half or 2 metres in front of the 10 metre line. More or less straight in front of the black dot. Quite a big boy, this referee, Ollie. He'd make a, um, looks like he's played a bit of footy too. I don't know if he'd be a centre three quarter or what he'd be, but. Yep, being O'Keefe in Wellington. Pretty difficult for them today, too, here today, these fellas, but uh, Dean has got this ball placed. You've got to chip it over. And he comes. One, two paces into the win. He's hit it pretty good, Deans. He's hit it pretty good. It's hanging. He's hit the post. Oh, it hit the left hand up right there and taken away the ball is Cartier. Cartier feeds it out to Karadiani. He throws one away downtown. The ball hanging in the breeze now. A Gorman waiting for it to go over the sideline. A good kick too by Warper Bush. And brings him back onto the, the ball head on the halfway line. Well, Deans hit the post. He didn't hit the ball as sweet as I thought he would have actually, but the ball spun and hit the left hand upright and bounced into play. Very near not knocked it on the Bush half back too, but They've scrambled it out and they've got to play on the 10 metre line now, West Coast, to feed the line out. So in it goes, feed the line out here, Troy Towfrey to feed it. In it goes, that's not straight, whistle will go here, no it hasn't gone straight, the referee was standing in a funny position now, it comes out to McClure, McClure takes it and he runs into uh, Kar Karadiana in Tartufu for the West Coast. <coughs> have they turned it over here now, the ball's inside, they're being holed up though, he's being hangled up, they've got to go to ground, use it or lose it, he's blowing the whistle too and rightly so, the scrum goes to Warripa Bush. Well, you know, the, the West Coast look like they're doing the same thing as uh, Warripa Bush done in the first half. They should just be nudging the ball down here into this corner here. The a ton of time to do it. Just trying to get out of jail with the ball in hand. I'll tell you what, it may not work. They won't want to let this record. They've got two wins in this championship go to go begging here, Warripa. And you need to take it, and you've got to take it. And by taking it, you need to get points on the board. So it's Cartier to feed it now. 12 minutes ticking away in the first half. Right in the middle of the paddock there on the halfway line. Now he comes away to his right. Right it comes to Karadiana. He's going to slide the ball inside the defence. Good play by the Bush team here. 
That's what the other team should be doing at this end of the ground. Instead of trying to barge it up and do things with it, they've got to be picking the ball into these corners. Good play by the bush. Taken quickly and back to where Gorman. Now he, now he decides to put the kick ahead. It happened, and that's a good sort of a kick too. It hasn't gone out now. Back it comes to Katia. Now he's running across the paddock, this little half, but you couldn't have kicked it to a worse player. It runs into Cochran and um, to Cochran and now Gorman. Now the ball's on the ground there now, on the halfway line now. Lost the advantage out of that bush. They did with a quick throw in by Gorman. Now the West, the one bush forward, take it away sideways a metre or two. Now it comes to Katia. Katia out across the right hand side to the prop forward there. Willie D Wilbur Davies, big fella to bring down. He's down the 10 metre line. On attack here, uh, Hawaii for Bush. Now Katia. Across it comes to the captain there. Good play here there by Johan Van Vliet. Runs high in the tackle but goes to the ground. Nice. He sets it up here for Katia. Still in possession. The little halfback drops it. And there's a knock on there. Penalty coming up, is it? Penalty coming up there. The referee had his arm out. I thought it was for the knock on by the halfback, but they've still got it in control here, Billy. Now it comes to. Um, Brandon Young, now still going forward here, Warrapa Bush got the ball in control. Now it comes across, now he's dropped the ball, but the penalty was coming anyway. Penalty, they're bringing it back here to midway 22 in the 10 metre line. 18 of, for the 15 metres in from touch. Penalty to Warrapa Bush there, but it was going to be coming a long way out. He played the advantage there for two or three seconds or minutes or whatever they do. And the hand goes up, so a chance for Warrapa Bush to extend this lead here this afternoon with 14 minutes gone. But they're playing the Warrior Upper Bush are playing the sort of game that West Coast should be playing. They've got, they've got to get this ball in behind. Go from you to the super you with Metamucil Multi Health Fibre. Points to five if he gets it over. He's kicking into the teeth of the wind though. He couldn't get it more. He comes in there, hits it like right foot, trying to keep the ball pretty low too. And he's stuck it pretty good now. The ball's over. I think it might have raised the upright it is. So there we are. 14 minutes gone. Penalty to Waters. Glenn Waters, the fullback for Bush. Fullback is there, nine points to five. So there we are, four point lead to Warrapa Bush. But uh, no, they've still got plenty of time left to go, 25 minutes. They've got thunder time. Tactics they need to change. There he is, Dean, to kick it off. There we are, short one there. Waddy back, couldn't have kicked it to the worst player in the paddock, Cartier. There he says, thanks very much, and hammers it down the touchline there and puts it out on the halfway line. So there we are, advantage lost, zero zilch. Puts the ball right out on the halfway line. Well. <coughs> I think a higher kick would have been better to try and get some yeah tower free to feed the line out over there for the west coast though, there we go and it goes knocked off the top, untidy for Woods he had to go back and he got two or three of the big west coast the wife of Bush forwards at the same time still got it in control low coast but going backwards at a rate of knots to the mother Norwood love miles offside, the referee, the whistle goes and he is offside They've got to settle it down, Coast. They've got to settle it down. They will not get out of jail here today if they don't play constructive footy. And they've got to play it down this end of the paddock. So here we have Dean to put it out on his 10 metre line in the Bush territory here. Looking for the safety of the side on there. That's a better kick from Bush and from Dean. It's a beautiful big kick. Now he's put it out in the corner. Now that's what they must have got some satisfaction out of that. Because he drilled that down within 15 metres of the... Uh, of the try line here now, and they've got to, this is where they've got to keep the big pressure on. They've got to win this line out now. They can't afford to have the ball being not straight. And the Bush will be putting the pressure on with these bigger guys they've got too, and it's hard to get the pill into the line out today with the wind blowing, but let's see what they can do here now. <coughs> Nine points to five. Bush up, three penalties to Glenn Waters, the fullback here for Warrapper today. And it goes. Just tapped off the line there, but once again they've lost the football again. He couldn't find Monk at all there with the ball when it went up to the air. Now Katia's got it. They'll drill it back. The uh, Karadiana's waiting in the end goal area for it. But he kicks it himself this time and he makes a couple of metres and the, puts the ball out on the 22 metre line. So West Coast still favouring here, but. <coughs> Excuse me. Couple of replacements coming on now for James Hunt. Jamie Hunt coming on in jersey 16. And 21, Mike Tifari. Tifari or Tiferi or whatever his name is. But anyway, so here we have. Tower free again to feed it. I've up the ante a little bit, Wiper Bush in the second half here in the forwards. So there it is. Now it goes up, taken in by Houston. Don't know that it was 100% straight either, but they've got the short arm penalty here, West Coast, for uh, obstruction. Robert Gabriel takes it quickly. He runs He runs into the big fella. Still going now. The West Coast forward's going to have a bit of momentum here now. 
As they get, gather momentum here for the ball, a bit slow coming out now. Woods has got it. Feeds it across the crowd. So he runs into a couple of tackles here and put on the ground there by some of the men of the Warrior Bush forwards. Reaching in for the ball. The ball's been kicked for the penalty now. There's the penalty. West Coast have got it right out in front of the post. So they're going to have to take the points here, I would say. They'll take the three and they'll hang on, I would think. The ball right out in front of the post. So Warrior Bush into everything. The hands into it going in there, left, right, and centre. So Dean to take it, they're questioning the referee there, the front row forwards, but uh, it wasn't hard to see from up here what was going on. Manicured lunch hooks in amongst the football, that's what it's called. I don't even think in George Nepia's day you were allowed to do that, but anyway, the rules haven't changed that much. So here's the indecision to go. What's going on? Slow getting the kicking to you out here. I don't know what's going on here. Players coming on, players coming off, but now Deans has got the tee. Bush players calling 30 seconds. I thought that was something you to take moss and mould off the bloody... off the concrete. <laughs> yes, they've come off the bench there. Hardly a seat left in the Alan Adams stand over there now. Is the... Wind intensifies, but the rain looks like it's departed for a bit. So here's Deans. Chips it over, has he? He chips it over there, Deans, after uh, 19 minutes. Deans the penalty for West Coast after 19 minutes. <coughs> Makes the score eight. And wire for Bush nine. So there we are. Interesting 21 minutes of the game left to go. So halfway through the second half here in this Heartland Championship match here. Nine eight. Radiana kicks it off. Oh, he muffled one along the ground. Waiting for the ball is Alan Monk. He taps it on his foot. Too scared to pick it. Now he picked it up on his own 22. Monk it over there by Andrew McLean at the same time. Now Coast are making it hard for themselves here now. Oh, their balls that one up. I don't know what happened over there running backwards and sideways. But Bush have got it now. Looking ominous here. The whistle's gone though, is it? The whistle, no, it's still going. Warren but Bush hard on attack here now. When you muck the kickoff up, this is what happens here. Ball goes along the ground. Bush in control away from the scoreboard corner there now. In with the ball now comes to Katia. Katia to Karadiana. He's dropped the football. Now they've still got it through Karadiana. But another penalty goes. Who was it? Well, some of the players on the ground over there. But the kickoffs, you know, you've got to bend down and take the football from the kickoff. That's what you've got to do for a start off. And they muck the kickoff up and then they put the pressure back on themselves here. So another penalty from Waters. I'm telling you what, these penalty goals this, this far out from him, just like giving candy to a baby. Because very shortly it's going to be 12-8. We'll be back where we were 10 minutes ago. But that's the way the game goes. And There's still 20 minutes to go. There's still tons of time here in this national championship match here. The balls fell off the kicking tee. Kicking straight into the teeth of the Norwester here too. She's coming on the same angle there too, so you'll keep it flat and low, I'd imagine. Stabs it. There we are. He stabbed it. The ball's hanging. It's hanging. It's hanging. It's hanging. Oh, no, it didn't go over. Well, you give it everything, and the ball just stood up in the air and spun and spun and spun, but must have just spun out to the right, I think, didn't it? But uh, no change in the score. I actually had that written down. 19's on for Boira Bush, too, so is 22. So the change is coming here now. Nathan Hunt and Johnny McFadden. The number eight's coming off. That looks like um, Jimmy Timo's day's over. Don't know. Nice kick here anyway from the kickoff. Oh, the ball's been knocked on. Ball's been knocked on. He missed the kick there and they come off his foot, he reckons. So anyway, any referee in the world would have said that was a knock on. But anyway, Washington control of the ball here at the halfback. Tati has got it here now. Out it comes. Long pass at the Johan Van Vliet. Oh, nice tackle there by Taufra. Otherwise, he was through. Tartia again, in control again. Now that ball's been knocked on this time, picked up by the West Coast side. Now it comes back to Deans. Deans a long pass out there, Alan Monk. Things could open up here for the coast side. Then it comes here now to Robert Thompson. Thompson through the gap. Through a hole he goes. Draw and pass. Draw and pass. Oh, he goes to tackle inside the 22 lead line. Oh, coast on attack here. Rampant attack here. Alan Monk. Oh, don't go sideways. Somebody go forward. Now they go on the ground. Ball in front of the uprights here. Coming back. Warrior Bush players all over the bloody show here. 
Ball's on the ground now. Here it comes. O'Gorman's oh, taking it again. Off the top he goes. Still going. Brad Houston straightens up and runs hard. Houston's still going. Go, Houston. Run hard, Houston. He's still going, Brad Houston. Now he meters away in the other West Coast side. In control they are. The ball's on the ground. There's bush players all over the top of the football there. And the teeter goes, and rightly so. Well, I'd be looking to start reaching towards that pocket. Any old tick of the moment. Otherwise, go between the posts and the penalty try. Should have, could have easily been awarded there for infringing on the ground there, but never mind. The penalty has been awarded now. They're 15 metres in from touch, right over there on that eastern side of the ground. Zambuck's coming on for somebody over there. Taufri, it is Troy getting now. It's Hamish Cochran a bit slow getting up. He's been in the thick of things today, the big prop forward. So what will West Coast do? Johan van Vliet having a wee bit of a word to the referee, Mr. Ben, ben O'Keefe, but he, they trudge back. The penalty goes, so Gorman's going to take a quick one, is he? No, they're going to take a scrum. Yes, they're going to call for the scrum. Not taking the shot at goal, they're having a scrum. Well, I hope this can work. 18 minutes to go, Bush in front by nine points to eight. <coughs> Time to remember. Harry Jones coming on for the hooker, Toy Taufri. I think he is. Harry's a local West Coast lad. A, and a young fella too. He plays a lot of his footy in Christchurch. So there he goes into the hooking position. Yes, he is. So a good game by Taufri is leaving the paddock. So good work by Troy. Good scrum here coming on there for the coast. They've got to make take some advantage out of this because there it goes. Scrum to go down, the referee says, what's he doing? Didn't put the ball in, so he's waiting. Yeah, it has, yeah. So there's a lot of new players on here for both sides. So I'm hoping Jamie Hunt's on there and Kurt Simon's in the front row for Wairapa Bush. So he's come around to this side to see what's going on. So Woods to put the ball in, 17 minutes left to play. One point deficit. No, stand up again, the front rows, they say. Time ticks away here, that's the only thing. Need to take advantage of this territory here near the West Coast side in some form or another. Waiting, steadying. Oh, that's a bit of scrum from the coast. Oh, tight hit for Wiper Bush again. The advantage is lost. Dead, silt, zero gone. Coming away with the ball now. Big run up over the 22 metre line. Still going, but that player there didn't quite pick up who it was, but he's on for the... Here it comes across to Karadiana. He'll put the kick down off his right foot. Running back for the ball is Thompson. Everyone's out on their feet in the bud. Nick Davey going back for the ball now. Oh, it's been hacked away there by the um, centers we got on the Gilbray. Going back for the ball now. Been hacked over the goal line there. Hutsy for the ball. Oh, Mullaley's back there, I think. Mullaley's back there. 22 drop out. Well, the, the, the game's gone from the five metres in front of the West Coast goal line to 10 metres. It's a fire to scrum over. I can't see what's going on. It's way down in the bloody corner here by the uh, front of the stand, and it's hard to see, but the advantage was lost in the front row there of something. Yeah, that was a shame because they had an opportunity there. They'd have better have to take the tap rather than lose the scrum. Or take it back and have the shot. Might have been a better option. Anyway, there's a five-metre scrum. They're 10 in from touch. Defence required here. Well, they've gone from one corner to the other. And you know what that's like? Even in practice, it's bloody hard to do. So there we are. Continue to feed it. Can't see really what's happening here now. It's in the back of the scrum now. He's been caught over there by Woods. But Karadiana's got the ball. They're only metres away now. West Coast, uh, uh, Warriper Bush from the try line here. Karadiana, they've got numbers. Where he goes? Shows a shot, a sh a pass up to number three. Willie Davis, he's going for the line now. Good defence here from the coast. Now it comes out along the ground. Hacked away here by the... Go from you to the super you. It's all stepping out of me, for Christ's sake, from having to go from one corner to the next and had to peer around the corner like a penguin to see what's going on. So number 20 now coming on for Warriper of Bush, Matt O'Connor. Replacing the halfback. Well, he's been the standout player for me, and now I can tell you today, and he'll get a big hand as he comes off. Well, he's here all done up in a bun. He's only about four foot nothing, but my word, he was... He could probably throw the boots off, get the silks on, ride the first leg of it. Alice today, that's how big he is. So, I mean, all of about 50 kilos. <laughs> so, 
So West Coast, they're bogged down there. Time ticks away. 15 minutes to go still in the game. And they've got a defensive scrum, which is just to the left of the uprights. And they're about just on the 22-metre line, or just in front of the 22-metre line in defensive situation. Well, Ollie, the game's just sort of um, gone from one end to the other, but we lost possession of that scrum, which I hope is not a turning point of the game. Yeah, I think it was a wrong choice, eh? We've been pushed off the ball in quite a few scrums today, and going for a, with that, we should have taken a look at the three points. We still had 17 minutes to go. You know, yeah, scrum wrong option. Yeah, well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, though, unfortunately. So here we have a defensive one here for Woods for the West Coast halfback. Still plenty of this game to go, I might tell you. 14 minutes. You can't hold your breath that long. Get the ball in, for Christ's sake. What's going on? Oh, well, they've put another tight hit. Whistle's gone this time. There's something going on in the front row. Someone's not coming in straight or something's not wrong. The halfback's not for putting the ball in, but you've got a referee out there. You should see what's going on. If it's not going right on one side, go around the other bloody side and sort it out. Just eating up time, that's all this is. Anyway, we'll see how long it takes to set this one. He must have had a lot of, he must have been in conference with Steve Walsh because he takes about 20 minutes of every game to reset scrums. Right, there it is this time, there it is. Woods on the coast scrum again, going backwards at 100 mile an hour. Tibbet Gorman takes it off the back and now he puts the thump up the touchline. Good kick for O'Gorman too. Good kick from Rowan O'Gorman. He puts the ball out now. That's the way to play the game in there. At this end of the paddock, a quick one they've taken by Waters, is it? No. They'll take the line out just in front of the halfback. The West Coast come back onto the attack here. Just inside the Bush Territory. Well, they've got some big boys here. They've played pretty good, the Coast boys, today. And they're still in this game with 13 minutes to play. Don't make no mistake about that one. Get the penalty in the last minute and win the game. Who knows? But Bush throw the line out. There it goes. Over the top. Taken over there by another replacement player. Who's come on there? It's uh, James Johnny McFadden. They've been driven away over there by Brandon Young. Take it over the coast there. A bit of scratching going on the back of Alan Monk. They're rolling out of the way now. The new halfback on is the Matt, Matt O'Connor. Slow ball though for, for the Bush, but they've still got the ball under control here. Riven to a wall of defence, another penalty. Another penalty be taken quickly there by John uh, Johan Van Vloot, the captain. He runs up in 20, rate right about 10 or 15 metres for the touchline. Players down everywhere now. Kurt Simons playing halfback. He takes the ball, runs into Johnny, uh, to Harry Jones. And now we've got the ball on the ground. Now McDuff's uh, still got it though, the Bush. They've had this 80% of this ball in the second half. I can tell you that right now. O'Connor, the new halfback, comes in. Comes back between his feet. The play going nowhere. It's still in the same place. Gabriel battling furiously with somebody on the ground there. Connor's got the ball under control. Why the Bush still got They've looked after this pool bloody well in the second half, I might tell you. Feeds up his captain, Van Vloot, again. He goes on the ground to Alan Monk and, and Brad Houston. Try to hold him up, but no, the ball's on the ground. Bush still got it under control. <coughs> Another big fellow, Willie Wilbur Davies, had a big game for the Bush here today. He puts it up nicely to O'Connor. Runs it back inside to... to the, the big man there, Tom Fleming, he goes over the 22, the loose forward. Now up to the 22, he goes, O'Connor takes it again, goes for a wee bit of a run, but a caught by a wall of defence there by the uh, thing, it, Nick Olsen, and playing halfback. Feeds it to Karadiana, players everywhere here trying to bust and break it through, but tackled there by O'Gorman. One or two others of the coast players, it's right down on the wrong end of the ground for me to be... And the time ticks away, 12 minutes to go. O'Connor's got the ball, West Coast cannot get their hands on the football here. Knock on there, so we've got it now, defensive one it is. They've got to get the scrum working. I don't quite know what's going on there, but... 11 minutes and 40 seconds to go. Nine points to eight. Jeez, this game, this is last week's game all over again, I can tell you now, just that... Uh, this is that we played this way in the second half last week, and we were... And just... No, you, you can't play football if you haven't got the ball. That's that's the great thing about it. You know, you can't play billiards, can you, without taking the ball? This West Coast scrum has been absolutely bloody demolished again. Absolutely demolished again. So what's going on there? Who would know? But the scrum's gone. It's gone 60 degrees or 80 degrees. The referee said so. Now it's a warrant for Bush scrum feed. Well, they've tried hard. They've tried in vain here today. But we've just lost position here in the second half. And my word. Whatever the coach said to the boys at half-time in the green jerseys, it certainly worked. Well, 
I don't know what's going on in the scrum. That they just keep wheeling out these big mothers and they're just making it hard for us fellas. But Robert Gabriel, he's had a big game on attack and on defence, especially on defence. By shit, he's been on the on, he's been on the floor a few times. Oh, yeah, they have. Yeah, big defensive effort, but size, possession, and territory normally tells. If you read Graham Henry's book, that's what he's always going on about. But and he's the great Messiah. Here it goes, O'Connor defeat at Matt O'Connor. Good scrum here from the bush too. Taken off the back, O'Connor back to O'Connor again. Out of Karadiano. He runs into his opposite number. Opposite number Deans on the go. Still on possession here. But Warrior per bush though. Driving furiously in there with their big forwards. They've made a lot of changes here. Seven Deans in there. Kurt Simons with the fucking furiously for the ball now. Now it comes back. They're only metres away now. Bush are hard on attack here now. West Coast have got to defend like hell here. They drive them back a metre or two now. The coast, but the bush boys have still got the ball. Still in there, a bit of raking going on. The whistle's gone. Another knock on. Well, are we going to get out of jail here yet, Ollie? Nine minutes and 47 seconds to go. No. We need to get our hands on the manicured hands on that lunch hooks on that football and get down this end of the ground. But still full marks of the big man from the, uh, from the bush. They've turned up in the second half by where they have and put the heat on and played the game at their end of the ground. So, Woods defeated again for the scrum. Looking for a big scrum here from the coast. There we are, another good push here from the bush. They've turned it again, another 80 degrees. Whistle goes, bush scrum. Well, I don't know what's going on in the front row. We're just absolutely getting smacked. Anyway, that's the way the cookie crumbles. One point in the game, though, it can still go either way. Funnier things have happened, but, you know, possession is what's, uh, what win games of football today and territory. And Moripa Bush have had it all in the second half. So here it is, O'Connor. Used the bench well, the Bush boys, I think, today. Used the bush well, bench well. I don't know who's gone to number eight. I can't work that one out when the big fellas come off. There we are. Bush strutting hard now, number six of Fleming's gone to number eight, so they're right under, right under the goalpost here now, Warren for Bush. Right under the goalpost here, the whistle gone, there's been another wee knock on, has it? Yes it has, but it must have been a whiss. <coughs> Held up. <coughs> well, we've got a big scrum there, we're right in front, we're five metres out, so it's going to... Yes, I think we could be in trouble. Not a good place to be, and they're all lined out to the right and two out to the left. So the O'Connor will go. And Fleming's gone to the back of the scrum. Tom Fleming for Warrior Bush. Then it goes. Good scrum. They've pushed it away. The mark comes out. Fleming takes it off the back, gives it to O'Connor. Connor steps and nips and waves and moves and periods. He's over the line just about, is he? No, they've turned him on his back, the coach for. They drive into the round now, Warrior Bush. They've got to be very close here indeed. West Coast are hanging on by the threads here. Where's the football? I can't see it. The hands are clapping. People are going, but the scrum goes down. Bring them back five metres. Still another wire for Bush scrum. I reckon they could just about go for a push over here, the Bush, and get it from the, where the scrum is. But the ball came out, and the, the Fleming failed to, to gather it with his foot, I suppose. They had to do it one way or the other, but they've certainly been dominant in the second half, the wire for Bush... Uh, 17, Kurt Simons, Jamie Hunt's gone into the front row, played well, 18's come on, Lockie McFadden's and brothers here, they've, they've all bolstered up the bush scrum in the second half. Players down all over the place here, they'll be pleased to hear there's two to go, still eight, six, seven minutes to play, still time, where there's time there's hope, but we've got to get to the other end of the park to play our footy, that's all. That's O'Connor defeat it for Wairapa Bush. Yeah, we've spent the last 10, we've spent the last 20 down here. In it goes now. What's going to happen this time? Here it goes. He feeds it. In the go. Scrum to go in. Nice time there. The better scrum this time from the West Coast. The halfback's been shoved out of the way by Woods. Now it comes off by Fleming. He runs into Woods. He holds him up and goes to ground. But Bush in control here. In control now, this Kurt Simons has got it, the man with the beard and the curly hair, he goes to the ground, they're five or six metres out now, Bush, they haven't made any ground from that scrum though, 
Uh, Connor's set. They're all over here in place. Get the ball out of there. They're all saying comes across to Gradiana. He runs into a couple of tackles. Caught around the bootlace by Gabriel. Now it comes to Fleming. Fleming's charging forward. Now they're still metres out. Now they're not far away here. Now the Warrior Bush line. O'Connor's got it. What will they do this time? The big prop forward there now goes for the guy, Wilby Davies, but he's cut short. Ball's on the ground now. Where's the football? Use it or lose it. Matt O'Connor digs in. Christ, they've got it here again. It comes across to the captain, Van Vliet. He's been held up. They're driving towards the line. They look like they're over the line. Now the referee's got it. It's not over, though. Turn over, though. It's been a turned over, I think it has, for the West Coast. Knocked on. Knocked on over there. Well, Warren well, Bush firing everything out. I don't know why they don't use their back line, the Bush here. They had a back line out there. All the West Coast players were in there trying to prevent the try. They had three men, four men standing out there. And no one over there by Mark Costello in the scoreboard over there putting the score up. I think he could have hopped out and delivered that ball and probably scored it himself. But never mind. West Coast here. They've got to get out of jail here. Five minutes and 19 seconds to go. And they've got to put the ball into the scrum and try and get it out here. Bush have been so dominant in the last 10 or 15 minutes, it's been unbelievable. But they've only got one point on the board between us and them, so we'll see what happens now. We need to get the position out of the scrum. Penalty this time. Well, I was wondering how long the penalty would come, but West Coast got the penalty now. Relieve a bit of pressure here now from the scrum. Obviously someone's not coming in straight or something's not. He went round to the tight head side and had a look, and he had no hesitation being uh, O'Keefe. And Deans, the kick there now, but not a very good kick either from Corey Deans. He's made about five metres, that's about it. Ten metres at the outside and put the ball out right on the 22 metre line. So, interesting times. Coast to feed this line out now. Harry Jones to feed it. Need to get some possession. We've still got to go here. Four minutes to play. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Monk goes high, beautiful taken by the captain there. Now they've got the ball under control. What are they going to do with it now? West Coast, they've got it now. Woods is going to kick, I'd say. You've got that look about him. They're still holding it up in there. Coast edging forward. Now they move it forward a bit, metre or two. Coast, that's better play by the Coast forwards. Bush here, a bit fragmented now. Gabriel's got the ball trudging up here, but oh, don't lose it. Don't get caught up. Don't get held up. Don't, don't, don't get held up. Go on the ground. That's better play now. It pops out the Bush side. What they didn't want, hands all over the show in there as though Karadiana's in playing. There's a penalty coming here. Now O'Connor's got it. Slipped to put the ball out to Tom Fleming. He cuts back inside to the bit of his forwards. Caught around the jersey by um, by Brad Houston. Now the ball's on the ground. O'Connor, out of come to Karadiana. He's going to have a drop kick at goal. And a drop kick at goal it was, but the penalty's coming anyway. So there's the end of the game. Wrap, stock and barrel. Three minutes, 28 to go, and the penalty came. Well... I don't know what we tried to do here in that second half. Gabriel took the ball forward. He got isolated. He was held up by the big bush forwards. They couldn't free the ball. And then it popped out on the bloody bush side of the paddock where a kick holder thought over the top of the scrum down into this corner we've been talking about here where there's about 15 acres of paddock and no one's bounced the ball in it all afternoon. So very difficult to work the, the choices that have been made out here today. But I'm not out there. I'm up here. So And you get a damn sight better view of what's going on up here than you can down there. So... Anyway, Grant Olsen's had enough. He's leaving the commentary box here this afternoon. So, Grant, um, Glenn Waters to have the shot at goal. I'll get a good look at this one. I'll be straight down the box window here, without a doubt. Two minutes 40 on the clock to play. This will push the Warrior Bush boys out to nine, 12 points to eight if the kick's successful. Still means the Coast boys will get a bonus point today. So, this is how it stays for the end of the game, but... Here he comes now. Crowd giving him rips. There is the kick that comes across. There's the kick from Waters. Yes, he's judged that win beautifully here this afternoon. And after 38 minutes... 38 minutes of play, another penalty the same way. 12 points to 8 West Coast. So there we are. They've still got a show with a couple of minutes to play. Quick kick off taken by Deans. Sliding along the ground and picking up the ball. I think it was Young for the West Coast. No, it was uh, <coughs> Brandon Young for the Warrior Bush. They got the ball under control again. O'Connor runs on the short side. Runs into a wall of West Coast forwards there. Goes on the ground now. Who's playing half back in there now? Go from you to the super you with Metamucil Multi-Health Fibre. It's 100% natural cilia. in control of it here. I don't think we'll get it again there. The Davis, he comes forward. He's in a busy game here for the, King, for the Bush forwards here today. It's O.C.'s captain, Van Vloot. He's just... Takes it forward a metre or two. There's the whistle goes, a penalty. 
Well, they're a lottery when they start diving in all over the top of the ball like this. Bush had the ball under control and, you know, how they can get a penalty out of that lot, well, who would know, but um, he's closer to me, so this must have seen something. So time's up on the clock. Time's up on the clock. The referee checking, uh, the fullback Glenn Waters checking with the referee here to see if there's any more play after this. So he looks for the corner. Hasn't gone out, I don't think. No, it hasn't gone out. The ball bouncing away, but oh, rub off Robert Thompson's boot. And that's not a knock-on. That is not a knock-on. We had the same thing over here before, referee, and it bounced off the replacement player that came off a wire of a bush off his leg, like that one come off his toe. The consistency is what we are, we're talking about here. So now... With 21 seconds on the clock, we've got a defensive scrum. There we are, way, way back down on the scoreboard corner. This should surely be the end of it now. 12 points to 8. Scrum feed to Warriver Bush, right in the corner over there. Now, they're only they're 15 or so out and about 5 in from touch. Big effort required here. In it goes. Coming off the back is Fleming. He runs into the wall of players. He goes on the ground, then the ball goes on the ground too. Digging in is Kurt Simons, he takes it, but he's been tackled over there. Now they struggle away the through there, still 10 or 15 to go though, the wire bush forwards. Now they take it a metre or two forward again, put it on the ground. O'Connor, short side, big long pass out here, number 18 going for the ball. There was um, Lachlan McFadden, he's been too upright though, and he goes down on the tackle. Now they've got it on the short side, and the ball dumped in the touch there though. The game is over, is it? The whistle goes for no, no it isn't. Yes, the game's over. The game is over at Rugby Park here in Greymouth. The game is over. Bush running out the winners. Big whoops around the ground as Warriper Bush continue their unbeaten record here this afternoon at Rugby Park in Greymouth. Running out the winners by 12 points to 8. So there we have it today, 12 points to 8. They turned in front at half time, in front by 6 points to 5. The only points West Coast got in the second half was the penalty to um, full back to the first 5-8 uh, Corey Deans. Another penalty was added, two more penalties were added to Glenn Waters who come away of the game with the 12 points. Like Otago won the game the other night with five penalties against Southland. This is a similar result today after the West Coast boys scored one try. Big effort required all round but they just could not get themselves out of the half in the second half West Coast and have gone down by 12 points to four. That'll secure them a bonus points and Warriper Bush carry on on their winning way here this afternoon. So once again conditions have played a part here this afternoon and the West Coast side They've gone down by 12 points to 8, but full marks to Warripper Bush, who came out of the tunnel at half-time and were a different team altogether up front. They used their interchange bench well and kept West Coast pinned down inside their 22 for probably three-quarters of the second half, or inside their half anyway, and their 22 in the second half. They kept the pressure on, kept hold of the football, and that's how the game's ended here this afternoon at Rugby Park in Greymouth. So it's Jimmy Finlay leaving and Grant Olsen, the commentary box at Greymouth here, saying goodbye to everybody that's tuned in and listened <laughs> to this commentary here this afternoon on a windswept, rather bleak day here in Greymouth for the West Coast side going down, Warriper Bush winning by 12 points to 8. So this is uh, me from Jim from the commentary box at Rugby Park in Greymouth saying goodbye to everybody around the net and up and down the coast from the commentary box here this afternoon. I bid you farewell.